Jacksonville Jaguars are holding their first training camp practice one month from tomorrow. And tonight, Cole Pepper and Mark Brunel begin their look at the Jaguars roster. This week, they're focusing on the offense. All right, well, we're going to start our position group breakdowns. So, Mark, we might as well start right at the top. At the most important position, Cole. You would say, and that is, of course, the quarterback position. Uh, and this has been an overhauled position this offseason for the Jaguars. I don't know if we've talked much about Nick Foles. Maybe once or twice. Once or twice. Uh, what have you seen so far? What do you think so far of what Foles has done since arrival? I'm excited about the OTAs and what he did uh, um, in those practices. Uh, Nick Foles is a quarterback that, that does three things very well. Uh, he has very good timing. Uh, he's very accurate, and his decision-making is uh, just spot on. Uh, that's what we saw in the OTAs. That's what we saw in the mini camp. This is an upgrade at the position. Uh, Nick Foles, while he's not an elite quarterback, he has had some very elite moments. And he's, like most quarterbacks, he needs a very good supporting cast around him. That remains to be seen. But I like the fact that Nick Foles is our quarterback going into this season. With him being at the helm, I feel much better about uh, where we were a year ago. Talk about an overhaul of the position. The only guy remaining from last year's quarterback room is Tanner Lee. Coming into his second year, didn't get any kind of a, a sniff of action last year. Also have Alex Magoo, who was brought in. And the Jaguars spent a draft pick on a guy I know you really liked at the Combine in Gardner Minshew. I do like Gardner, and my concern at the uh, backup position is that there's very little experience, to your point. Um, if something should happen to Nick Foles, uh, week four, week eight, uh, you know, where it's an injury that could last a week or two. What do we do there? I'm a firm believer that you have to have some veteran experience at the backup position. We do not have that right now. So Nick Foles has to stay healthy. And all these moves that we've made and the strength of our defense and the new additions, all that is for naught unless you have a guy that if Nick Foles gets hurt can go in there and have to go win a game, but he just can't lose games for you. No experience at the backup position, and that is a big concern coming into the season. Usually when you're a veteran quarterback, you want to have either the old guy as the backup who's you know beyond the, his prime right. or the young guy who's learning. You kind of had both at one time or another in your career. Did you utilize backup quarterbacks or lean on them differently based on who you had? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, that, uh, and listen, the, the backup quarterback, when you're the starter, that's your, that, that's your guy. That's your confidant. That's your go-to guy that you trust to uh, see you through a bad practice or a bad game and kind of talk you down off the ledge many times. And, and uh, so I was very fortunate in my career to have very good backups that were a very good sounding board. And that's what you wanted. And the, the older the guy, the kind of the better he is at really understanding the position, what needs to be said, what needs to uh, not be said. So uh, Nick Foles does not have that luxury of having a veteran guy back there for support. Listen, they're going to cheer him on. They're going to do great. But Nick Foles has seen enough football to the point where uh, he knows uh, how to manage a game and he can handle his emotions and, and his mental toughness is right there. So, um, Listen, we'd love to have some better experience. We don't, but we've got a good quarterback at the starter position. All right, that's the quarterback position. We'll be looking to the other positions coming up.